Welcome to this new Flight Simulator update movie. In this movie we're gonna look at the latest announcements which they made yesterday during the live stream uh, and where they I would say spent more time on what's coming uh, to Flight Simulator and one of those things was of course the next world update which is world update uh, number 12 if I'm correct and it will take place in New Zealand. So the first thing that they will announce that the initial content plan which you currently see on the screen has been I would say extended. So that's good news, right? More things will be added in this uh, world update. Hopefully they will also be great quality, of course. Uh, so let's see uh, what we can uh, get, right? So if we look at the dam, the mix, uh, lot 15 till lot, lot 18, right? That's the photogrammed or the dam. So that are those are the elevations which they have added. That's always part of the world update. So it looks like that they spent some more time on that. That's really cool. But the next thing is even more cool because initially they announced four bespoke airports while in totally they added more airports, right? They spoke to ORBX and NGA, which are developers uh, which create airports, but not only airports, but also aircrafts. And based on that, they extended the list to this number of airports, right? So let's count them, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine airports. Really cool. So let's have a look at them. The first one is uh, Gisborne Airport. As you can see, it's a kind of a smaller airport. Uh, well, it has a runway, uh, which is cool, right? And also a taxiway, if I'm seeing it correctly on this picture. Uh, the next one is the Milford Sound Airport. Uh, this one looks like to be a little bit bigger, but they only photographed, I would say, the, the parking spot. So not sure. Then the next one is Martins Bay. Really cool one. The George River Airport. The Rotaro Airport, this one is, I would say, a little bit bigger compared to the previous ones uh, which we looked at. Uh, Ticapo Airport also looks uh, really nice. The Wangari, Wangari Airport, not sure if I pronounced it correctly, but this also uh, looks like to be, I would say, a bigger airport. It looks really nice. Uh, and then we've got Westport Airport. And the final one is T004, also known as the Quinton Lodge, which is in the middle of the nature. So cool airports which will be added as part of the next world update. In addition to that, they added a lot of point of interest. Here it says uh, 30 plus bespoke airports, but I think this should be 30 plus uh, bespoke point of interest. They added a lot of things, right? They added bridges, they added churches, they added, I would say, important buildings, stadiums, uh, which they normally do also with all the world updates, right? So. If you look at this list, it looks pretty cool. Uh, several lighthouses, right? The Castle Point light uh, Lighthouse, the Dog Island uh, Lighthouse. Uh, what are other things? Wellington Regional Stadium and uh, Railway Station. Uh, the Skyline Queenstown. Really cool stuff. So really looking forward for this next world update. In addition to that, they expanded the number of photogrammetry cities. Initially, there were six on the roadmap, but now they have added a little bit more, right? They added Auckland. Uh, Christchurch, Hamilton, Nelson, Queenstown, Taranga, Wellington, and the last one is Hobbiton. And Hobbiton was added, I would say, last minute as far as I understood it. Uh, so that's really cool. They even gave us some uh, bonus content. Then the activities, also this list has expanded, right? Uh, they added, I would say, several discovery flights, uh, landing changes, and bush trips. And they promised to, I would say, uh, use multiple aircraft types, right? Including uh, the helicopters. So that's really cool. And I'm really looking forward to see, okay, hey, how does it work? Will it look very good? Uh, will it look really nice? And what are those changes, right? I can, I would say, I'm hoping that they will add a landing challenge uh, for, say, the, the other aircraft types. Uh, for example, the helicopter. That would be really interesting if they would add that. But to be honest, I'm really doubting uh, because I do think that they still uh, mainly focus on uh, the uh, normal aircrafts. But maybe they add something for the glider, right? Because that one is also uh, now part of Flight Simulator 2020. In addition to that, they announced the local legend number 8, which is the De Havilland uh, DHC-4 Karibo, uh, which will be created by also a third-party developer. Uh, really cool to see this aircraft. Uh, looks really nice. Uh, so, let's see. This is one of the, uh, the pictures or the screenshots I took, right? So, this is the propeller. 
and this is the the cockpit itself right so look really nice right some nice oh, a lot of buttons and this i would say is a uh, kind of a little bit older aircraft as you can see so looking forward to see uh how much this one will cost because that uh, is something they didn't announce and also how uh, i would say how it flies right then they also announced the and turn off a and two i think this one was announced earlier already but then they put it i would say kind of i would say in the fridge uh, because there were some licensing things according to the uh, description which i found not sure if that was the real case but this one will also be added uh, or will be available to flight simulator 2020 uh, but then of course the biggest surprise is this one right it's the uh, Antonov AN225 Maria. It's the biggest, I would say, transport uh, aircraft uh, which there was, right? Because the real one has been destroyed uh, due to the war in uh, Ukraine. So that's really bad. Uh, what they do is they uh, will make it available. Uh, initially, they thought about releasing it on the PC and the Xbox together, but there are some dependencies in the, on the Xbox. So from what I read is that they will release it at the end of February on the same day as I would say the, the original aircraft was I would say destroyed. And the good thing is that they will give all the money, I would say um, they will not keep it for themselves. But as, far as, as I understood, they gave it to, to Antonov, uh, which is the company which built or which has built this aircraft. So looking forward to see if they're going to restart building this one because this, I would say, was already part of some community, uh, I would say, uh, aircrafts, right? There, were, there was, I think, one or two of these were released as community aircrafts, but now there is the Indie Buildings guys who took the challenge to make, to build this aircraft for Flight Simulator 2020. So looking forward for this one. Eventually, it will also become available on uh, the Xbox, but that requires, I would say, the WASM update. And talking about that, right, there was an update. I don't have a screenshot for that one. But what they mentioned is they will add uh, several things as part of sim update number 12, uh, including some enhancements uh, for uh, bugs, which they I would say which were kind of uh, occurring after some of the latest updates. Uh, and that, that looks, looks really cool. I'm not sure when they will release it, right, because that will probably happen after this world update, because first we will get the uh, world update. Um, so that's what I say from my point of view I think it's 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 really cool that they do that um, talking about that um, what can we expect else uh, well they talked about the roadmap for flight simulator 2020 uh, they talked about the world updates but there were no I'd say real announcements where they will take place so th those will probably be uh, announced uh, later uh, this year it looked pretty promising the i would say roadmap uh based on the number of i'd say placeholders uh so we can expect the same uh i would say update ranges or updates as we did had the last uh last year right 2022 so really looking forward for uh, seeing those updates where they will focus on etc um as mentioned right the antenna will be, be available at the end of uh february and then if all goes well, sim update number 12 will be released on the 14th of March. And that's also, once that's there, they will also probably make it available uh, for uh, the Xbox. So looking cool. Uh, let's see what they will do. Um, anything else that they announced? Well, there were a lot of discussions about uh, certain things. A lot of, I would say, quality uh, questions, uh, new partners being onboarded. Uh, but nothing which I would say was really, I'd say, jumping out for me. Uh, because, but that's also probably because of me, because I was really interested in new things which are coming. And these are the short, uh, or are the things which are coming on very short term, right? Uh, because uh, new world update comes soon. Then we've got sim update number 12, which comes soon. And then also at least three additional aircrafts, which are coming very soon. The Antonov is, I would say, a paid one. But what they said is that it will likely cost you $20, uh, but that's what, say, what they announced. I'm not sure what the real price will be, so let's see uh, what we will get for that. Uh, here ends this video. In this video, we looked at the latest announcements which they made during the live stream about the uh, new world update, world update number uh, 12, if I'm correct. 
It's taking place in New Zealand. We looked at some screenshots. Also, we discussed some uh, new aircraft that are coming. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.